say something is black and white, we mean it to be simple, obvious, and easily understood. But this is certainly not the case with Antigone Cabafa's Chthonic Serpents and Sacred Trees. These exquisitely rendered and impressive paintings are far more than just representations of the natural world. They speak to us symbolically, conjuring up reflections on mythology, good and evil, and our own impact on our environment. Sensitivity to nature was actually the inspiration behind these works. I was fascinated with uh, the shadows of the plants on my walls in my studio. And uh, that's where it started, my fascination with the plants. Antigone has been fascinated by the play between light, dark and shadow for years and it all began one evening in her studio. Black and white. There was no colour. I was working in the night and it was shadows on white walls and it was just uh, uh, black and white more or less. So that's how this idea of the black and white went through. And uh, this work is just uh, darker. It's black here. In the others, I, I used uh, uh, charcoals and, and uh, the charcoal. You cannot get uh, black out of charcoal. So here I use the Felix. So I can get it black. I, make, uh, I made a um, maquette. With uh, uh, many trunks con continuous, continuously, so I mean, uh, I got this idea of making a snake out of those trunks. It was a little scary, a little whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she might smile, but this freeze really does conjure up images of antiquity, mythology and the eternal theme of good versus evil. It reminded me too of ancient temple friezes portraying stories of the gods and heroes or epic voyages into the underworld. Antigone's choice of materials is also interesting. Due to its almost translucency, I thought she was using a kind of rice paper, but she corrected me. Rice paper actually is Mylar. What Mylar is, is this uh, synthetic sort of rice paper that they, it filters for light. It's very strong. You can put it in a roll, take it with you. The whole exhibition is a roll like this. You know. Trees can symbolize life, but these wintry trees are burnt offerings and spring from a more sinister source. Some of them are um, burnt. Huh? And this whole project started with fires in 2007. So I went to the Peloponnese. I was in Italy when it was burning. So I was helping with the fire. I was up in the mountains. And uh, I took uh, a lot of photographs, like 900 in the Peloponnese alone. And I had an exhibition of photographs of the burnt trees. So this, the idea started then. After a while, I thought they were beautiful. I agree, and thanks to Antigone, beauty has sprung from the ashes of forest fires and destruction. If you're in central Athens until the end of May, I highly recommend you stop by Fizz Gallery to see some Chthonic serpents and sacred trees.